The adjacency matrix for a graph has a i j equal to 1 if there is an edge between vertex i and j. However, this assumes there's only one edge between the two vertices. In a multigraph, multiple edges can join two vertices. This requires a complicated and unintuitive modification. We'll make aij equal to n, the number of edges between i and j. So if we go back to the graph of the Koenigsberg bridge problem, we see that from vertex 1, we have 0 edges to vertex 1, 1 edge to vertex 2, 2 edges to vertex 3, and 2 edges to vertex 4. So the entries in the first row are going to be 0, 1, 2, 2. From vertex 2, we have 1 edge to vertex 1, 0 edges to vertex 2, 1 edge to vertex 3, and 1 edge to vertex 4. So the entries in the second row are 1, 0, 1, 1. Similarly, the entries in the third row are... And the entries in the fourth row are... As with simple graphs, we also have the theorem that if A is the adjacency matrix for a multigraph, the ijth entry of A to the k is the number of length k walks from i to j. So again, in the graph corresponding to the Koenigsberg bridge problems, we can find the number of length 4 walks from vertex 1 to vertex 2. We have our adjacency matrix. And we compute the first row, second column entry, gives the number of length 4 walks from vertex 1 to vertex 2. And we find there are 52 such walks.